So rent or buy this very nice remastered version of Red Faction. One of my favorite in the series. Did I like it? Do I hate it? Do, uh, did, did I have issues? Did I have bug issues? Did I have something to complain about like all these babies that hate games that probably don't have a library and they probably don't finish their games too? I should talk. I don't really finish mine too. But I do. Rent or buy Red Faction. This honest, beautiful remastered. Let's start off with the price. 30 bucks. Pretty cheap. Back in the days, back in 2009 when it came out for Xbox 360, I paid a full price fledged game and I never regretted a cent. The story about uh, this guy avenging his brother's debt, a farmer, a mining farmer that goes on Mars to scavenge and mine stuff to get a new job, start a new life, and when he gets to Mars, he gets his brother killed. And he gets super pissed, and you get to demolish and fight the EDF, which is the evil empire, try to control Mars, and you have to win it back. The story is compelling, it's fun, but first and foremost, this game grabbed me back in the days, cause... The demolition part was so much fun. You had to destroy as most as possible as you could and scavenge all the pieces. With the peaches scavenged, you can upgrade your weapons, armor, and so forth. Basically, that's the game. But demolition and destruction is quite exquisite. When you had a bad day and you drive home and your boss was mean to you, you just go and play this game. And you feel relaxed and new because you get to demolish half a planet and it's so much fun. Now I'm just being crazy. But still to this day, I love the first game. It is dear to my heart. It's a game that I always go back to. Graphically, the sounds and everything. I have nothing to complain. When I install the game on the Xbox version, I don't know about rumors about any other version. I didn't play them. I can't evaluate or review. But this one, first and foremost, when I put it in, it downloaded a patch. 458 MB, pretty small patch, then I was fine. I didn't see any bugs or anything. Uh, the gameplay was kind of faster. Yes, the graphics are sharper, everything is nicer, but I, I, I tend to go back and play my PC version and see if it looks equally good. But anyways, I wanted a Red Faction game on my Xbox with the price and everything. If you never played this masterpiece, to me it's a masterpiece, an all-time favorite. Like I said, I always went back and played it since 2009 on my Xbox 360. Somehow Microsoft didn't make it retro compatible. The old version. Because my guess is THQ uh, wanted to grab another 30 bucks. But they graphically and everything, it plays and it looks really better. But some missions, some missions that are always, the first four or five missions are always so fun. One part, if you ever play the game, I think it's the third mission, you're waiting for the ADF to come back to the camp and you have to ambush them. Well, usually they drive there and they get out of the car and now they just drove really fast and the guys, like the pace of the AI is much more faster the game is harder, and I forget how hard it was, but the fact that the game reacts faster to you makes it a bit harder. I don't want you to patch that up. Don't correct that, THQ. Whatever you do, leave it as is. Um, it's just the, 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 it's so much tougher and so much more fun, the fact that the AI is like way quicker than back in the days. If you go back and play this, that's what I noticed four hours into the game. So I must say it's must own, must buy classic. Um, just that second or fourth, fifth mission, you have to destroy those satellites so the EDF, the evil empire, doesn't see you. You have like 12, 12 satellites to destroy. You have to drive through them. There's a lot of destruction, a lot of fun stuff. And you don't get out of the car, whatever you do. If you get out of the car, you're going to get stacked up under tanks of the EDF trying to crush you. It's just crazy. I just love all these side mission, mains mission, uh, demolition. He's just walking around the map. Of course, it's an old school style. It existed before, way before any games. 
But you got that good old, you want to capture that district, so you're walking by and you have that, I don't know, oil tanker or a convoy of trucks. You have to destroy as much as possible to control back the power of Mars. That's pretty much it. And it's, it's, it was just so good. Then we had Armageddon after that. I liked it too, not as much as this one. Armageddon had a weapon where you could rebuild. I thought it was cool. But this one's all about the demolition. So... Gotta be a must own, must buy. No bugs, no issues whatsoever. I don't know what people are whining about. If you didn't like the first one, but if you're an old school gamer like me and you just loved it so much, it's a good grab. 30 bucks Canadian. It's probably 15 to 20 bucks in the US. Let me know comments down below. 20 or 15 bucks US. I wanna know, I didn't even check. But the Xbox One X enhanced graphics, I didn't play back on the regular Xbox to compare it. It's gotta be a must own, must buy. Don't forget to thumbs up the video. Thank you again for 20,000 subscribers. I've been doing this for years and I'll be doing it for years to come. I love my fans, my subscribers, all the comments, every comments you leave and all those like, they really support me. That's all I live off for. I want those like buttons. Love you all. Have a great night. I'm going to bed. It's late Thursday night. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button as always. Love you.